In this video, we'll go over the basics of working with data in Adalo. To start, let's see how this app's database is set up by going to the database tab here in the left toolbar. When we click this, we can see that this app's database has three collections set up already, one for users, trips, and activities. And if I click on trips to expand it, I can see all the properties that a trip can have. So for example, name, description, image, a link to the user that created it, as well as all the activities that are a part of that trip. And if I expand the activities collection, I can see that each activity has a name in the trip that it's a part of. I can also click on the number of records here to see that there are three trips in my app's database, one for Egypt, one for Alaska, and one for Hawaii. And I can see there's also three activities, uh, one for dog sledding in Alaska, and then snorkeling and hiking in Hawaii. Okay, so now that we know how this example app's database is set up, we need to pull in that data so that it's showing in our interface. So for example, let's take a look at this home screen. We have this card list here. Now, if I run the preview of this app, what you can see is that nothing is showing up on the home screen, and there's a reason for that. This list is not hooked up to the database yet. So whenever you select a list, you can edit it here in the left panel. And for a list, the first question is always, what is this a list of? And this is where you connect it to one of the collections in your database. So when you click Select, you can see trips, activities, users, and even the option to make a new collection. But for here on our home screen, we want this to be a list of trips. So now that we've selected that, we've now got a list of trips. So if I run the preview again, you can see here that now I've got this list of three trips. You can see you've got the images and the names of them. So things are looking much better. But we have a little bit of an issue because we've got some placeholder text in the list. So we need to replace that placeholder with text about the trip as well. So if we go back here, we can do that by going into those various aspects of this card list. So if we look at title, again, we can see that set up to be the trip name, which is great. But if we go into subtitle, it just has placeholder text. If we remove that and click this magic text button, now we can see information from the database about trips that we can include here in our list. So in the subtitle, for example, we can include information about the person that created the trip and show their name. In the spot for media, we can see it's already showing the trip's image, which is great. Now let's look at body. This here has placeholder text as well, so we're going to remove that. And then by clicking the magic text button once again, we can see here the option to include the current trip's description. Now, if we run the preview, you can see that our list is looking great. We've got the image of the trip, the name of it, who created it, that's me, as well as the description for each trip. Okay, so things are looking pretty great now. Now let's work on designing our trip details page. So for example, in this title, instead of it saying trips details, I want it to actually show the name of one of the trips. So if I click on title here, and again remove this generic text, and click on the magic text icon, uh-oh, you can see we've got a problem. There's no option for me to click the current trip's name. And that's because the screen doesn't know yet which trip it needs to be showing information about. And the reason for that is because we need to add a link. This trip here, this list here, needs to link to the trip details screen. So we do that by clicking on add action, and then link, and then trip details. Now, whenever a user clicks on any one of the trips in the list, they'll be taken to the trip details screen. And so now if I try to set the title of this screen, you can see here that in the magic text option, now a current trip is available. So I can choose the current trip name. So the way to think about this is that when you're linking the user from one of the, your list items onto this screen, not only are you sending the user to the new screen, but you're also sending all of the data about the list item that they had clicked on to the new screen as well. And you can see that when you click on the name of the screen here, it'll give you information about the screen, like its name, if you want to change that. But down at the bottom, it'll also tell you what data is available. And here you can see current trip. So in addition to showing the current trip's name in the app bar, we also want to change this image element to be the uh, current trip's image. And then we want to customize this description as well to be the description of the current trip. So again, we'll click on the magic text icon, choose current trip, description. So now if I preview the app, you can see here that on my home screen, 
I've got my list of trips, and if I click into Hawaii, it takes me to the trip details page, and the title says Hawaii, and I see the image for Hawaii and the description for Hawaii. And if I go back and click on Egypt, I can see the information about Egypt. So this is great. We're doing pretty good here. But there's one other thing that I want to show on my trip details screen, which is the list of activities that are part of each trip. So to do that, I'm going to click the plus button and add a simple list here. Again, this is going to say, what is this a list of? And like I said before, we want this to be a list of activities. And so now, if we run the preview, and we click into one of these trips, we can see that we've got our, our list of activities here. But you'll see right away we've got a problem. This is showing snorkeling and hiking, which is great, but it's also showing the dog sledding activity, and that's part of the Alaska trip, not Hawaii. So to fix that, we need to look at the list filters. The first filter for every list is a choice that you can make for whether or not you're showing all of the activities or just the activities for the current trip. And of course, that's what we want in this case. So if we select that and now go and preview, and I click on Hawaii, I'm just going to see the activities for snorkeling and hiking. And if I go back and go into Alaska, I'm just going to see the activity for dog sledding. OK, so that's looking great now. But what if we also want to have the ability to click on one of those activities to see the information about it? Well, just like with our list of trips on the home screen, we can add an action to this activities list uh, that's a link to our activity info screen. And now, let's see if that worked by clicking on the name of the activity info screen and seeing what data is available. And you can see there's actually two pieces of information available on this screen, the current activity we just clicked on, but also the current trip as well. So that current trip is coming from the trip that the user clicked on on the home screen to the trip details. And then when the user clicks on the activity, that sends the user over to this new screen, as well as the activity that they clicked on, and the current trip is all available here. So if we customize this text on the activity info screen, you can see that we can include both the name of the current trip as well as the name of the current activity. So let's run the preview and check it out. So if I click on Hawaii, we can see the Hawaii screen and mark two activities. If we click on one of them, you can see we're spilling data about the trip that we're in as well as the activity that we're in. OK, there's just one more important concept to keep in mind when you think about what data is available to display on any screen. And that is that it, if there's multiple screens linking to this trip details, for example, they both have to be sending in a current trip. And if they're not, we've got a problem. So let me show you that. On this app, we've also got a screen. If the user clicks on this account icon, they can view their profile. And let's set up this button on this profile screen to also link to the trip details screen. So now, if we look at what magic text we can set for the title of our trip, you can see that current trip isn't there anymore. And so now I can click on the name of the trip detail screen, and it'll tell me that current trip is not available because it's missing from the profile screen. So if I want to fix that, all I have to do is go back to my profile screen, which is up here, and remove that link that this button is having to the trip details. And now we're back to all the screens that are going to trip details, which is just home, are sending it a current trip, and you can see it's available. So there you go. That's the basics of getting started with how to work with data in Adalo.